The season came to a screeching halt just before heading into the playoffs, but today, weeks later, high school football players are back at practice. Yeah, let's get to Kim DiGiulio, who's live tonight. And Kim, with the playoffs set to start, it looks like they, knock wood, they're going to get this season in. That's right, Kimberly, Kimberly and Jason, these high school athletes have been through so much this year. So when they heard that their season would be put on hold, they weren't optimistic that they would be able to get these games in. However, the MHSAA said they would do whatever it took to make sure that these athletes could finish their season. And now it looks like that will be the case. It's back to work for Belleville High School's football team after the playoffs were put on hold due to the rise of COVID cases in Michigan. No one wanted that to end like that. I thought that was like probably going to be my last game with my team, so definitely devastating time. I honestly thought it was over. Uh, it was a wrap for everything. You know, it, it was crazy to think that, you know, our last game, the Canton game, was my last high school game with all of my friends, so it was, it was pretty disappointing. <laughs> Last week, the remaining fall sports were given the green light to start practice this week. Belleville senior Dion Burks was ready. It was definitely like, are we playing, are we not? But if we is, let's stay ready, or if we not, then it's all right. Head coach Jermaine Crowell, who just recovered from COVID-19, says the shutdown was necessary. But after catching it, I'm still saying that I wouldn't want that on anybody. He's thrilled that the MHSAA will be providing more testing for the athletes as they finish out their season. I got coaches on my staff who, you know, they're coming off of surgeries, you know, they, they, they things could end badly and, and they're risking it all to, to be around these kids. So I'm, I'm excited about the testing that we're, we're going to for uh, three days out the week. Next up for Belleville is Cast Tech on January 2nd. And it's safe to say this matchup will be worth the wait. I have uh, teammates that I'll be playing at Penn State with that go to Cass right now. So, you know, this game's personal. Everybody in the state's been waiting on us to match up. Our game against Cass is like one of the biggest games in a very long, long time. It's where I'm from. You know, we they produce a lot of talent. We produce a lot of talent. It certainly is going to be a great game. I also want to mention that women's volleyball and swimming and diving will also get to finish out their seasons. As for winter sports, though, those are still on hold, expected to start up on January 15th. In Belleville, I'm Kim DiGiulio, Local 4. Yeah, but certainly so big for these athletes, a lot of whom missed out on last season, and now the chance to finish out is really a big deal. All right, Kim, thanks.